Hello everybody, it's Matt here from Matt Carr. So today I'm gonna to show you how to attach Dremel accessories or just accessories, burrs such as cutsels, to your Dremel. Now this works for either your Dremel, the main body, or if you've got a Dremel flex shaft, if you're into sort of like carving fine details, great for that, sort of like this dragon here I carved with the Dremel flex shaft. So, the collet system itself is made up of two parts. It's made up of the collet nut and the collet itself. And the collet itself comes in four different sizes. So if we have a look on the instructions of the Dremel, we have the four different sizes here. And the way we can tell the different sizes is each of these collets have a sort of ring on the bottom and a number of rings corresponds to the size of them. So the most common collet that you'll come across is the 1 8 collet and this has no rings on the bottom. Compared to this one we can see it has three rings on the bottom. So the 1 8 is really referring to the shaft size of the burr that you have. This is a cutsel flame burr. It's very popular among wood power carvers. So how do we put this onto our Dremel? So I'm just gonna do it on the main body of the Dremel. So essentially what we do is we put the 1 8 burr into that sleeve at the end of the Dremel. So that will fit in there like that. And then we put the collet nut over the top. We might wind it up on a little bit. And then we put the burr into that hole there. And then what we need to do is we need to hold down that button there, which is essentially the brake. So it just doesn't, the whole thing doesn't spin. And so we can lock that down. So, and we will often have a little Dremel spanner and we can tighten that up so it doesn't become loose when we are using the Dremel. And to undo it, we just take that, we put our finger on that, break, and then we undo it like that and we can take it out. So if I wanted to swap over to a smaller size burr, I would take that off and then I would put in a different collet, and then put the sleeve on, and I've got a nice little diamond burr here and that size of that is 3 30 seconds. And so I'll put that in, finger tighten it up and then I'll spanner tighten it. So you want to put your burrs in quite a long way, um, especially your cutsel burrs because they're quite aggressive. So you want to put them almost right to the end so there's no chance of the shaft bending. Now if you wanted to use the whole system you would buy this pack here the 4485 either from your local kind of like uh, place where you bought the Dremel from or you can get them off Amazon as well and I will leave a link in the description. Okay so if you've ever seen me carve though I you just don't actually use that collet system I use this multi-chuck system and this is sort of like the same basis as kind of like electric drill where you sort of like turn it and the jaws open up and close down and these can set, accept quite a few of the different sized burrs. And I've done a video about this one. It does have a few, well, it does have one bad point in the fact that sometimes it does come loose. And But check out the video up there and see if it would suit your kind of carving.